Hi everyone, welcome to Pantry Perfection. I'm Amy. Today we are going to make chocolate chip cookies made with real butter. And unlike other chocolate chip cookies that tend to spread out because they're made with real butter, ours are going to be light and fluffy and yummy. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to start with um, a full cup of butter, which is two sticks, and this is cold butter. So to make it more um, workable, we're going to chop this up. So just go ahead and open your butter up. And we're going to chop this into um, fairly small chunks, um, not super small. It does stick to your knife sometimes. So you're going to make these little tiny cubes. Once you have that all cubed up, we're going to put it into our mixer. Now you can use a hand mixer if you like with this. Um, I love my big mixer because I can do other things while things are mixing. Okay, so we have, there's half of it. And we have this other stick. We're going to chop that up. It's nice to work with a colder knife, um, not one that just came out of the dishwasher or something or just was washed because that will melt the butter. And why I like to use cold butter is because when it's warm, it tends to flatten out in the oven. When it's colder, it tends to um, hold up a little bit better so you have a nice mound. Okay, so we have all of our butter in our mixer. We're just gonna turn that on low and get it mixing really well. And as it starts to blend, we're going to start adding our sugar. So the first thing we're gonna add is half a cup of regular white sugar. Put that in there. And then the next thing we're gonna add is a full cup of brown sugar. This is a light brown sugar. You can use either light or dark. Okay, so we're just going to let that mix for a little bit, get nice and creamy, and make sure that the butter is all the way incorporated with the sugar. Okay, so our butter and our sugars are very well creamed. Now we want to get the eggs in it. So we're gonna add three whole eggs to our butter and our sugar. And this is a little bit more eggs than normally is used in uh, chocolate chip cookies, but this will make up for the butter, so this will add the fluffiness. So we're just gonna go ahead and turn that back on like a medium. now we have a nice consistency so we're going to go ahead and add a couple of our dry ingredients and our vanilla so right here I have one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of regular salt and then two teaspoons of real vanilla Gently let that mix until it's all incorporated. You don't see the vanilla around the top. Okay, next we're going to add our flour. What I have here is two and a half cups of regular white flour. And to make it neater and a little bit um, mix a little better, I'm just going to add a half a cup at a time. Take that down. 
and we are just going to scrape that batter off the petal. Yum, yum, yum. This is always so good and the kids always want to fight over the petal because it is so yummy, but it does have the raw eggs, so keep that in mind that probably not the best idea even though it tastes so good. Okay, so I have this now. Now, now I need to get chocolate chips in there, right? So I'm just mixing this up and I'm gonna add the chocolate chips. So I have um, one full bag, it's about 12 ounces of regular chocolate chips and you can use dark, milk, whatever you like. Just gonna dump that in. We're gonna mix that up. And you definitely don't wanna do this with the mixer because it'll just chop those chocolate chips up and you kind of end up with more of a chocolate cookie um, opposed to a chocolate chip cookie. And so you want to do this by hand. Now, if you're just making plain chocolate chip cookies, this is where you're going to stop. Um, I'm going to put walnuts in mine, which is totally optional. So here I have a um, cup of walnuts. And these are a little bit big chunks, so I'm going to chop them up just a little bit. We don't want to demolish them because um, then you won't even know they're in the cookies. So we're just going to chop these up a little bit. And this is kind of personal preference. If you have small children at home, you might want to make the chunks a little bit smaller. Um, in our house, we just have teenagers, so I don't need to worry about that too much. They know how to chew pretty well, very well. Okay, so. There is my walnuts. I'm going to throw those in there. Okay. Get that out of the way. And once again, I'm just going to mix this by hand until my nuts and my chocolate chips are all the way through the batter. Make sure that you're scraping the bottom because you don't want just plain dough at the bottom when you get to the end of making your cookies. Okay, so oh, it smells so good. So tempting just to stick your finger in there and eat some. Okay, so my dough is um, very well incorporated. Okay, so now I have a cookie sheet and I hate when cookies stick, so I go ahead and use parchment paper. So I'm gonna take some cooking spray and put just a little bit on the bottom and that helps the parchment paper stick a little bit better and then just give it a good coating like that. Now a little trick is if you do this over the sink then it doesn't make a disaster all over the counter. Okay, so I have my tray already. I have my dough ready to go and I love using a um, cookie scoop. It makes my cookies nice and even. So I'm going to go ahead and just scoop out a dozen on this tray. And all of them are on the paper. I make sure they're about even distance apart because like I said, they do spread just a tad. Okay, so now we have our dozen. We're going to stick those in the oven for about 10 minutes, depending on how you like them. Okay, so it's been over ju just over 10 minutes. And this first batch looks delicious. Now I like mine a little soft on the inside so I just wait until the very edge is brown and then I take them out and you'll want to let them sit for a few minutes before you try taking them off and putting them on the cooling rack. If you try to take them off right now um, they're just going to crumble and make a big mess. Okay so it's been a couple minutes and I'm going to go ahead and take these off very carefully. Now they're still going to be really soft and then I'm just going to put them on my cooling rack. And like I said, they're nice and fluffy even though we use butter. Um, that extra egg helps that be fluffy and then also the cold butter. Because if you have warm butter and less egg, they just tend to just get totally flat and a little bit rubbery and chewy. Alright, some people like it like that. I just, uh, I like fluffy, fluffy, soft 
chocolate chip cookies. Okay, so we're just going to let those sit for a few minutes, um, and then they'll be cool enough to eat without burning our mouth. Okay, so I just got my batch out. We have them all on the cooling rack, and now is the best part. I'm going to try them. I'm going to make sure they're, you know, taste good for the kids. Mmm. They're so yummy. So soft in the inside. Oh, they're so good. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoy this recipe, and I can't wait to see you next time when we make our next yummy, yummy recipe with all natural ingredients.